caucusing is easy. I've taken this Iowa caucusing video and made some minor adjustments to make it work for the rules that we have here in Maine, which are slightly different. We'll see you Maine folks Sunday afternoon, March 6th. Start times vary, so be sure to check the start time for your caucus. This is my first time voting. I'm not a registered voter, but I'm just feeling the burn. Not a problem. Just fill out this form. We'll get you registered as a Democrat. I'm an independent. Bernie just inspires me. Enough is enough. I still... Yeah, 100% not a problem. We'll get you registered as a Democrat. Hey, I'm a Republican. I have to break up the big banks. Can I caucus for Bernie? If you can't make it to the caucus, you can go to www.maindems.org and get an absentee back. Pete, our caucus expert, will take it from here. Pete! That was your cue. Oh, sorry. It's these numbers. This is a really tight race. So you want to know about caucus? All right. I'll tell you how it goes. For starters, Maine is broken up into 533 individual caucuses. So that's where you cast a ballot? Not quite. Each precinct has a caucus. It's a community meeting. Your precinct caucus location should be in your neighborhood. So who gets the caucus? Voters who show up. If you're going to be 18 by election day, and you can caucus. And how does the caucus work? This is the caucus room. Like we were saying before, it could be a library, a community center, your local school. It's anywhere people can move around. Move around? Aren't I just voting? Nope. You're caucusing. Each of these colors represents a Democratic candidate. Under caucus scores, X is a committed caucus score. Candidate green, candidate pink, and blue for Bernie. What are the red U's? The red U's haven't picked a candidate yet. They're uncommitted. I love the smell of a caucus. Bev will take it from here. She's good. As caucus chair, I call this caucus to order. Okay, let's get to it. Our precinct is allowed to elect nine delegates to the next level. We have 50 people registered here tonight. That means, according to the formula, you have to have eight in your group in order to be viable. Everyone joins a group with their candidate supporters. And I'll have the Bernie people go over there, pink people come here, greens come over here, and the non-committed here, and then we'll count you to see if you're viable. Viable means your preference group is big enough to be awarded delegates. In most cases, that's 15% of the caucus. Okay, here are the numbers. Bernie Sanders, 22. Of the Green candidate, 18. Candidate Pink, 6. Uncommitted is 6. Sorry, Pink, and sorry, non-committed. You are not viable. You will have to go with one of the other preference groups. Bernie will fight for a living wage. Yeah! yeah. Green has lots of experience. Yeah! yeah. Bernie yeah. will combat climate change. Yeah. Green is more experienced. Yeah. yeah. Healthcare is a right! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> okay. The realignment is over. I'll recount the groups. Okay. The final count for the caucus is Greens 21. Bernie 29. Yeah. So Bernie gets all of the delegates? No, it, it's not winner take all. Bernie did get most of the delegates, and uh, Green did get a nice chunk, with Pink being shut out. Remember, you are allowed to vote for your second and third choices. Makes sense. Thanks, Pete. You can find your caucus location at berniesanders.com. Bernie needs as much support as possible to win. It makes it easier to identify you as part of the group and may help to build enthusiasm for your candidate. The establishment doesn't think we'll show up. In fact, they're counting on it. Prove them wrong and caucus for Bernie. It's going to be awesome.